There you are, sir. Fresh bread straight from the Melbourne. <laughs> Untouched by human hand. We've got a monkey working in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil and up he pops. Where have you been? Upstairs. How's it going? Oh, I tell you what. The bread's selling like hotcakes. Oh, me jam's not doing so well, though. I think that daffodil flavour might have been a bit of a mistake. Ugh. How are you doing upstairs, anyway? I'm running out of flour. I'm not surprised. You've got a couple of pounds on your face. Well, what shall I do? I'd wash it if I was you. No, I mean about the flour. you better go and make some more. We're running short of bread. Right. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Bun and Son. Hello, Bun here. I just thought I'd give you a ring to make sure you're coping all right. Oh, yes, we're managing fine, thank you. It's Mr Bun. As long as you're all right. You are looking after my watch, though, aren't you? Oh, yes, I'm taking good care of that. <laughs> well, goodbye, then. Bye, then. Come on. Now, I'll show you one more time. You put the grain in here. It goes down the centre shaft to the stones below. There it grinds it, and then you have it. What? Flour. Finest quality, freshly ground wheat. It's a very clever idea. I wonder who thought of it. Don't know. Probably some ancestor of Mr Bun's. It was very good of him to let us look after the mill while he's away. Ah, well, you see, he knew it was in safe hands. He could tell that I'd got white fingers. Pardon? Well, you see, gardeners have green fingers, millers have white fingers. What kind have I got? Fish. Thanks. Oh, yeah, come on. Come and help me with this. Right, you ready? Oh, oh steady, steady. Oh, ah, to me. To you. Not to you, then. Come in, then. To you. To me. To you. Steady, steady, steady. Right. Hang on. Bring it. Right. That's it. That'll do nicely. Now, while that's doing, I'll take you down and show you how to bake bread. I haven't got time to learn how to make bread. Well, never mind. I'll just show you the rudiments. I don't want to see the rudiments, thank you very much. Can't we stick to bread making instead? <laughs> hey, can I have a look? Yeah. It's very nice. It is very nice. Can I have a hold? No, you can't. This is a very valuable antique, this, and it's been entrusted to me. I can't let any Tom, Dick or Barry mess with it. I wasn't going to mess with it. Anyway, how am I going to know when the flower's ready if I haven't got a watch? Well, what's happened to yours? My what? Your watch. The one I gave you for your birthday. The one that tells time underwater. If you mean the one that only tells time underwater, it's at home in the bath. Typical. Well, OK, then, but very careful. It's very expensive. Not to mention the sentimental value. Sentimental value? I told you not to mention that. Be very careful with it. Mr Bun's a very nice man. But if anything happens to that, he'll go loopy. Oh. Here, while that's doing, I think it's time for a cup of tea. And it's your turn to put the kettle on. Come on. In a minute. Try my hand at barn cakes later. Paul? Oh, there you are. Hey, do you know, I think at last I've found my true vocation. I didn't know you'd lost it. Now, what oh. do you want? Uh, you know that watch? What about it? What would you say if I'd lost it? Hey, do you know, that makes me so mad. <laughs> one thing I can't stand is flower beetles. There's another one down here. Hey, what's it? There's two things I can't stand, it's flower beetles. Now, what was it you were saying? Uh, never mind, I think I'll go back upstairs. Well, what about your tea? No, thanks, I'm not very thirsty. <laughs> Wonders will never cease. Where is it? <sighs> there it is. Exactly. How I'm supposed to run a tight ship with a crew like you, I'll never know. We're not on a ship. And a good job too, I say. Now, where's that flower? Down below. Right. Listen, I've just taken an order from the corner shop in the village. They want 50 loaves. 50? Well, half a dozen to be getting on with. But it could turn into a regular order. Mr Bun will be pleased, don't you think? I try not to. Just as well. Leave the thinking to me. 
We're going to have to step up production. We're going to need at least, ooh, ten bags an hour out of the mill. How many? Ten. We'll never get ten bags an hour. It's not fast enough. Well, not at the moment, but I've been thinking. The mill sails are turned by the wind, right? Right. So what's the best way, you would say, to get wind? Eat baked beans. I still say it'll never work. Of course it will. Now get cranking. Me? Well, you don't expect me to do it, do you? I'll be far too busy. Doing what? Well, I'll be grinding corn and making flour and stuff. Now get cranking. Yes, <sighs> <laughs> it's working. I told you it would. Now get it up to ten revolutions a minute, then keep the speed constant. If anything comes up, I'll be inside. If anything comes up, it'll be my dinner. Stop moaning. The exercise will do you good. Oh, and I better have Mr Bun's watch. Now give it to me. Uh, I'm afraid I can't give it to you. Why not? Nothing's happened to it, has it? Uh, no, no. It's just I'll need it to let me know when I've reached ten revolutions a minute. <laughs> of course you will. Hey, nice to see you entering in the spirit of things. Well, I'll just have to use my expertise as a miller to get me through. Keep up the good work. Close. Hey, hey! That's it, Barry. Keep it up. Right, you can stop now. Have you finished? Yes, for the time being. Now I want you to take some sacks into the mill for me. Oh, and I'll take that watch again. Uh, I'll bring it with me. Well, why don't you take it now? Well, you wouldn't want to get it covered in flour, would you? Quite right. Good thinking. <laughs> Quick thinking, more like. First, I've got to find it. <sighs> well, if the mountain won't come to Mohammed, Mohammed must go somewhere else. It's got to be in there somewhere. <sighs> to bring the rest of the sacks down to the bakery when I saw this enormous flower beetle and knowing how you feel about them I thought I'd better catch it. Are you telling the truth? No. Well come on let's have it. It's Mr Bun's watch. I dropped it in a sack of flour and now I can't find it. <laughs> Is that all? Well why didn't you say something earlier? Because I thought you'd go mad. Me? Go mad? <laughs> You're not angry then? No. I'm furious. If you've lost that watch we're going to be in big trouble. Now, which bag did you put it in? I don't know. It was the one was filling up before we upped production. Oh, well, in that case, it'll be down in the bakery. Come on. Hang on. What about this lot? Leave it for now. We've got to find that watch. We promised Mr Bun we'd look after it. Well, there's one customer you've lost for us. Me? Yes, you. Never mind, we've got more important things to do. It's not in there. You haven't baked it in a loaf, have you? Well, if I have, it'll be in the order I made up for the corner shop. Well, where's that? On the corner. No, I mean the order. Oh, it's over there. She must have picked it up already. Well, now what we're going to do? There's only one thing we can do. We'll have to nip down the corner shop and pray they haven't sold any. Right. Good. They're all here. I'll keep her talking while you check the bread. Right. 
Good afternoon. I was just passing the shop and I thought I'd pop in. What can I get you? Oh, I don't know. Let's have a think. Uh, something from down here, I think. What exactly from down... Da... What's he doing? Oh, pay no attention to him. He's just bread listening. It's his hobby, you know. Well, can he do it somewhere else, please? People want to eat those. Quite right. Barry, put it down. But you said... No, I didn't. <laughs> Now what's he doing? Uh, he seems to have got attached to that one. I'll attach my hand to his ear if he doesn't pack it in. Barry, leave! Nice day for it. From the village shop. Um, simple misunderstanding, that's all. Apparently, you and your assistant were in there acting rather oddly, so thought I'd pop back to see if you were managing all right. Oddly? Oh, yes, that but my assistant is good at acting oddly. No, everything's running smoothly. Would you like to try one of these? Hmm, certainly appears so. How about the mill? Any problems? Oh, no, nothing I couldn't handle. In fact, I've even made one or two little improvements. Improvements? <laughs> yes. Do you want to step outside and see it? I'm sure you'll appreciate it. <laughs> there you are. What do you think? Well, it looks impressive. What does it do? I'll show you. Barry, go and get on the handle. Isn't it a bit windy for that? Not at all. Go on. Get cranking. You see, with my simple sail shifter, what happens if the wind stops blowing, you don't have to stop milling. You just start cranking. And what happens if the wind gets up suddenly? Uh, that. Of course, it's one or two little teething problems. We'll soon iron those out. If it's all the same to you, I think I'll stick to the traditional method. Oh, my watch. I'll have that back. Well, where is it? That's been in my family for 200 years. Well, there's a very simple explanation. Tell him, Barry. Me? Oops. Well, you said it had been in your family for 200 years. Now it's been you for a few more. <laughs> I thought it took it rather well, considering. Yeah, it could have turned quite nasty. Oh, oh no! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 oh.